Well, major new developments in the COVID pandemic tonight. The CDC has issued new guidance as a mask wearing as cases continue to rise in Indiana and other parts of the country. It's fueled by the surge of the Delta variant. Those new recommendations from the CDC now say that vaccinated people should wear masks in parts of the country where cases are rising. It also recommends mask wearing in schools for parents, teachers and staff. Big developments today. CBS 4 State House reporter Kristen Eskow has been getting the local reaction to this dramatic change in guidance from the CDC. She joins us now live from Westfield, where the governor has reacted to these new changes. Kristen, what did the governor tell you? Well, Bob, the governor is still reviewing that new guidance, but he is pushing Hoosiers still to get vaccinated if they haven't done so yet. And he says he hopes the FDA grants full approval to these vaccines to encourage even more people to get vaccinated. Now, earlier I asked him whether he's considering requiring state employees to get the shot. He told me he's not looking at that just yet, but isn't ruling out the possibility for some additional state action. Senator I'm not here. leaning toward that, but obviously we have a I've, I've got some updates to make by probably the end of this week. Um, and so we're, we're looking at what the CDC just put out as maybe as we speak. Now, the governor is encouraging school districts to take every safety precaution possible to ensure that they can keep the school year going for kids this fall and keep kids in the classroom. Now, today I asked two local doctors how they felt about this new mask guidance. They tell me they support it, especially given the amount of virus we're seeing spreading here in Indiana. Community Health Network is already seeing a significant uptick in COVID hospitalizations. The number of hospitalizations has doubled in the past two weeks or so. Dr. Ram Yaletti says COVID-19 hospitalizations within Community Health Network are back at levels he hadn't seen since May. He says it's part of the reason some of his company's hospitals are running at capacity. Northeast and South, all three are very tight right now. What I'm worried about is that these patients end up staying in the hospital a lot longer, so taking up more beds and more space, and that just makes it more difficult for other people with non-COVID issues to get in the hospital as well. Dr. Yaletti says he supports the CDC's updated indoor mask guidance because of how contagious the Delta variant is. Dr. Peter MB with the Regan Streif Institute agrees. I think it's prudent. Uh, it's a very prudent thing to try to prevent another major outbreak. Dr. MB says rates of breakthrough cases or fully vaccinated people getting infected remain very low at 0.1% in Indiana, proving the vaccines are still effective. He says the virus is spreading most in places where vaccination rates are lower, particularly some rural areas. He says just over 50% of the state's eligible population being fully vaccinated isn't enough. Perhaps because they're seeing more of this in the news are, uh, and you know, a bit more time has passed, we are starting to see some more people going and getting vaccinated, but the numbers are still not what we want them to be. Now, Regan Streif says the Delta variant accounts for more than 80% of the new coronavirus cases throughout Indiana. That's about on par with what the rest of the country is seeing. And the governor didn't elaborate any further about what those state updates could be by the end of the week. For now, we're live tonight in Westfield. Kristen Eskow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.